Buffalo International 100E. Red till I'm dead. Black smoke till I'm broke. You like that? You That's like that, don't you? And more dump trucks. You got any codes or lights flashing in there? Red light on the left, upper left? No. Nope. Go on down. Mr. Tucker? Don Smock. We're at the Don Smock auction up in uh, Pendleton, Indiana today looking at uh, some equipment that's going to be auctioned off tomorrow. So we've already checked out a few skid steers. It's kind of rainy and windy up here so we're going to bring you guys along. Look at some of these dozers. He's got quite a few up here. Dozers, excavators, and all kinds. A bunch of dump trucks here too. So we'll take a peek at these uh, kitty cats here first. That one may have an oil leak. So, if you guys don't know, they have a drive through auction. I'll drive all this equipment through here. Um, it sells every two or three months, so I'll put a link in the description. But uh, kind of pulling stuff up on my phone. We got lot 366. 2012 D6T. 5530 hours. That's not terrible at all. That's pretty good. So, Look at the undercarriage. It's... Um, there yet still got some life left in it we got adjustment left here yet so this is an XW it's what they call wide track for John Deere this is the same thing as the 850J wide track basically it does have a winch on it got some shims left here they need took out Yeah, I don't know why people don't do that. We still got shims in here, so I'll fire it up and see what's going on. Looks like we might have a hydraulic leak here. Looks like we might have some O-rings leaking or something. Nothing major. There's somebody was sloppy filling the oil up. One of the two. Yeah, it's a cone. Hey, it's a cone. Not the cone. That one's got some potential. It's got a little play, something we can fix. So, winch is working. Not a bad machine at all.
All right, a little D6 in, checked out pretty good. Got a couple leaks and stuff, but nothing we can't fix. Not a bad tractor there. Over here, a little D6M. M? M, as in Mary. One thing I'm noticing right here, see how far this chrome's out here? Oh, yeah. Those tracks are stretched out pretty bad. Yeah, that's a lot different. I'll put some newer sprockets on it. The rail high's getting down. It's still runnable some, but... All right, that thing's at thirteen thousand dollars. That's a little more than what I want to buy to sell. We do have a John Deere. How many did it say I had on this one? Forty-two hundred. Forty-two hundred one owner hours. We do have factory John Deere rollers, factory John Deere rails. Show them a little where they put sprockets on it. Original blade face. Pretty clean. Might be true. A couple leaks in there, that's about normal for these. This is your problem. 20 years old though. You wanna fire it up? You know how to run these, don't you? No. No? I don't know, I probably do. Oh fuck. Might have a fuel leak too. Looks like the Oh! What He's happened? Sparks up here. Hey, don't open that way. Go the other way. Yeah. The windshield wiper? Yeah. Looks like we've got a lift pump leaking here, which that's not a huge deal. The doctor said it was sparking up around that windshield wiper plug. Bent the key trying to open the door up. I don't know who. You just broke it, didn't you? Just leave that off. Here, use this key. I don't know why they tied it to the freaking door handle. Yeah, so I'm freaking pulled it. I guess I probably didn't help it either. No, it was gonna happen sooner or later. Go ahead. Couldn't get the 750C to move. It might, uh, I know it's drove in here, I can tell, but could have some transmission electrical issues. It's hard to tell. I'll come back tomorrow and see if she's percolating. I tried everything I could do there real quick to make her work. Yeah, it might reset it. I tried that earlier, but I don't know. I'll have to keep her eye on it.
bad. Why does all this play up here? The bushings out of that. These little cat nosers have small pins and bushings in them. See all that play up there? There's a lot of play on the other side. Yeah. They didn't put big enough pins and bushings in these things. In the blades. It's got good undercarriage on it. Not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, bud. Oh my god! What? Dang! That's... Uh, huh. I've never seen that much of an angle, but... Go for it. I've never seen nothing like that, have you? No, that's, uh, that's interesting. Well, there was one down in Florida I was trying to show Mike from Dirt Perfect. Because it was a D41. Huh. I know the blade's angle so far... That they're not over with going down the road. And that's crazy right there. Yeah, that's a lot of <laughs> Look at that big old cylinder on him. He was on one down there and it wouldn't angle. I don't know if it's different or what, but. Is it just, oh, it's just the one side too. For... Yeah, it only angles one way, but that's, that would uh, roll some dirt over too. That's like a motor grader. Yeah. Plus for shipping. Not too bad of a dozer, really. The throttle cable's a little sticky on it. Have to be fixed, but it's got good undercarriage, so. We'll put that one on the radar list. All right. So quiet. Just brakes, steering brakes. Here we go, throttle. Now you done it. You pushed the throttle the wrong way, you killed it. I put it the other way, it didn't do nothing. Well, it's probably. Did you have your foot off that? Yeah. Might be a sticky cable like the other one. Pull the throttle back. There you go. See if she steers and moves. Showing like 7,300 hours. Woo, about her getting wet back here. Does she steer? Push the pedal. Not happy. Shut her off. That's a no-go. Oh, we got the cool stuff down here. Little cat D6. It's 
Correct drive, it looks like. You want to fire up your D6? <laughs> yeah, not steering, is it? I think this was here before. Not a bad track loader. Not bad looking. Got new undercarriage. What about the little International 100E? Red till I'm dead. Black smoke till I'm broke. You like that? You That's like that, don't you? Fire that up. What? That's the same thing as a little TD7 dozer. Oh, yeah, These things are built like a tank. They're made for little people too. Yeah, apparently. It's the hour meter. Oh, it's upside down. We know that doesn't work. We got a disconnect switch here. Your it's saddle's so probably up here. That's an idle starter right here. <laughs> oh yeah, bud. Give her a little more throttle there, bud. The steering's are awesome. Those two little levers don't have to move very much. Yeah, try the bucket out. Oh, we're down a little bit. This thing's had a heck of a loader linkage on it. Push her down. Pull her on out. I'll pick her up, drive her out.
push it all the way down over in that notch. There you go. Hold her down, bud. Oh, you gotta hold her down, bud. Hey, I've never ran this before. Now you have. It's not even, it's not even that bad. It's just what you need. It's kind of fun. Oh, no. You like that little crawler? Hey, give me some time. You can buy this one and spend probably 25 grand on undercarriage. Cracks are some for Yeah, that one needs too many dollars there real quick. Black top equipment. That's all the dozers. You like that little TD set or TD 100. 100E. You can build your motocross track with it. Uh, I might be pushing it a little bit. Got some baby rollers here. Let me try out these compactors. Do you remember when we had one of these, Grandpa? He was probably little when we got that? rid of it. This one's been. Didn't we have some. Uh, no, we had a roller with one of those kind of. Yeah, we had one of these with the cab on. This one's uh, been in a couple sales. I feel like I do, but I don't. Wait, 15 cats got a little bit of oil leak this morning. These things are good on machines, they bring a lot of money. I'm gonna fire this one up. Thirty-three oh six. Sometimes these things are hard to buy because contractors need them for jobs. But I'll see if she'll fire up. She fires. She wants to. Kind of. Oh, yeah. Garden food? I got some. Go for it. Ooh! Alright, that thing wouldn't start. I'll probably check it out tomorrow. Glow plugs aren't working. I got some experienced excavators for sure. Few things. Oh, Hitachi. Been around a couple days. Hey, you know what? Oh, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. would be jealous. Kevin, right here. Kevin would buy Maybe every one of these. Maybe what mom needs too. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Little mini excavators. They're perfect size. How about we fire up the 350Gs? You can run those, can't you? I don't know if I've ever ran an excavator from beyond. I know I have, but... It's the same thing, it's just bigger, bud. Hop up there and see what, how many hours are on there. You have 80,000 pounds of fun here. Turn the key on. Where's that at? That's not bad. Go ahead and start her up. You gotta hold the key over. Oh, she dead? You gotta hold it a while before it starts. Sound like she's dead. I'll yeah. try it tomorrow. It'll be a candidate. What, uh, what we got here? Try number two. Somebody's made decals for this one, they're not factory, I can tell. Uh, well, I can tell. How many hours we got? 8,000. It's not too bad on a big machine. Alright, you gotta unlock your bucket here. Let's 
go up and down and check some play. Check for leaks in the cylinders. Put her all the way down. Fold your arm up and put her all the way down and we'll look at that top cylinder. Pull back on your left one. Yep. Now push down with your right one. You got any codes or lights flashing in there? Red light on the left, upper left? No. Nope. Going down. Truth would be pretty dry. That's good. Rev her up a little bit. Dial knob on back here a little bit. I'll walk forward and backwards to make sure that works. back in a little bit. That's good. Shut her off. These are like the biggest ones I can haul legally. I got a little bit of experience. Experience. Right? It's been a while. We'll say that. They will get all these started and running in the morning too so you can try them out. Do what? Where do you want me to type this in? There on the keypad. I'm pretty sure what the password is because you can tell where the person's finger's been. Yeah. How many hours are you showing on it? Uh, 6,000. That's not too bad. Go ahead and move it a little bit. Bad machines. You can get a smoky the bear lawnmower here, bud. How about a fire cat? This is where all the cool stuff's at. Oh, a timber wolf. Grump, we had a couple of these. We should buy the T wolf. Hey, they've been out to Wisconsin. Been to Wisconsin on the T wolf, bud. That's 250 cc's of fury right there. You better watch out. John Deere. Oh, we can go fishing? You liking this sail, aren't you? We got all this good stuff over here for days. No. Well, there's the back over we gotta check out. A couple more things. We're kind of zigzagging, ain't we? Yeah, I'm just going. I don't know. Oh, you don't know what you're doing? You need a generator? 
So this little stuff will sell in a separate truck. I think there's usually three rings running. They'll start two at the beginning. And then a third one will start up, I believe, right here in these generators. Go down through generators and lifts. Yep. One truck will sell the little stuff. The second one will sell this stuff in the middle. And then they'll sell stuff inside the building up here. So let's go over here and check out a couple things. Lots and lots of skid steer attachments. It says Komatsu on it, but Komatsu didn't make it. Do you know who made it? Uh, Galleon. Komatsu bought out Galleon. Well, Look here. Komatsu Dresser Company, Galleon yeah. Division, Galleon, Ohio. Got Pringles on there. Somebody likes Pringles. Komatsu bought out Dresser. You can see Komatsu America International Company. This thing's got all kinds of... So Komatsu bought out Dresser around late 80s to about 2000. They switched hands to Dresser and all that good stuff. It should have a Cummins in it. Yeah, 8.3. Looks like she's got 11,000 hours on her or more. There you go, 140 cat. Old champion grader. 772 John Deere. So this one has front wheel assist. See it's got hydraulic lines going out here. Any of the John Deere's that have the two after the see they make a 770 and that two stands for front wheel drive, two wheel assist. Any of the old graders, new graders, whatever. Oh, the front end will pull. See how this one has no front end assist? So a five or a 670 is two or basically four wheel drive. A 672 has front wheel drive, so Anything with the two after it and John Deere's is six wheel drive. Little Komatsu loader. Oh, the deal Clark here, bud. This is the kind of stuff your dad used to buy back in the day when you were a little baby. If you can be like Dirt Perfect and let's dig and get you a big old haul truck here, Volvo's got your name on it. I think I'm pushing it a little bit there. See that number says 740. The last two means how many tons it can haul. This one's kind of special because it's the ejector bed. This bed doesn't lift up. You don't you don't see these every day. This is what they call an ejector bed. It's got a big telescopic cylinder. Yeah. Yep. You see the ejector comes out. Something you don't see those every day. Most of them's just a normal dump truck. How about the Cougar? Big Steiger Cougar. Water wagon, you got 621. Look at the Cub Cadets down here, bud. Everybody had one of these back in the day. Rainbow colors. So after the guys get done selling in the building, we'll start up there on the trailers. Come out here and sell the trailers. Go down to dead. You see all those OBS forts down there? There's a whole fleet of them. You like that, don't you? Hey, I don't know why I'm having them. Got some high lows. How many hours on this bad boy? Check it out. Thirty-four hundred hours. That's not terrible.
That's a little. She's kinked here and kinked there. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. That's why anything crane, I always like to run the booms all the way out and inspect them. You never know what you might find. I know it's probably hard for you guys to see, but that boom has been in. Yeah, I'll put my arm on it. I mean, yeah, it's supposed to be flat across there. Might still be a good machine, but uh, you gotta be careful and look out for stuff like that. So, maybe be just fine. So, spare tire with this one. It's a big old rock saw. Old ditch witch. Got a John Deere motor in it. The mirror track trencher. More skid steer attachments. Look at all the trucks. He's got a bunch of trucks. There's a bunch of Mack trucks here too. Too bad. Dirt perfect. Uh, got a dump truck already. We might have been able to find one here. The backer unit. They have got a whole slew of dump trucks. Dump trucks for days. I don't think I need much experience with them. I don't like working on trucks. Do you like working on trucks? Uh, depends. Depends what we're talking. Look at all those dump trucks. Nash and Sons selling out. Yeah, they had, they had a lot of dump trucks. A lot of dump trucks. A local company too. And more dump trucks. It's never ending. We go down this way. A bunch of buckets. Check I see a couple old Max down here. If you need a dump truck, this is the place to come. We got one R model here, bud. There's a real dump truck. RB. Bunch and bunch of trucks out here. You know they had trucks that had equipment auction, did you? Ooh, check out the old yellow plow truck over here. Um, you like this, don't you? I think it's got a few. I think it's got a little bit of rust on the fender, just a tiny bit. Pretty sure the bed's not supposed to be tilted like that. I'm pretty sure nothing's supposed to be like that. It's just a 250. It's coming from Illinois, it's automatic. Man, the interior's pretty oh, nice yeah, looking. Bud. Oh, yeah? But this interior is cherry. What? Wow. That's a surprise. It is. It is. That is cheery. I can't believe that. <laughs> I've I never seen it. Make sure you check on it. Oh, yeah. There's lots of good parts in there. Good seat. I don't know. Hmm. Boy, she's rusty. When she rusts through the bed. What power plant's in it, bud? This seat is it's showing 41,000. I tell you what, this truck is not, um, I know it's awful on the outside, but she don't have a lot of hours and time on Look, all the stuff still on the door panels. It's pretty crazy, ain't it? What's it got in it, gasser? Power windows working? Oh, it's a big 7.3 diesel, bud. It's got all the power. Yeah. You know how to work on these. It definitely has a lot of power. No turbo, though. I don't know. Might have to keep your eye on it. Too bad you don't need interior parts. Yeah, well, that's a whole different interior. I know. It's hard to find stuff like that, though. Oh boy. That's a surprise because you know. So this time, this is March sale. I used to, back when you were a little baby, I'd buy every snow plow I could find at every auction and hold them till Thanksgiving and then turn around and sell them. Oh, and That's what smart people do. Nice looking blue Ford. 
But I think we found it. Hey, look. Hey, look. Good so far. This thing is straight. Hey. Supposedly a one owner truck, like 80,000 miles, it is two wheel drive. Oh my. This thing's cherry here, bud. It's power stroke. 83,000 miles. Oh yeah. Primo? Not bad up the truck, is it? pretty clean. Hold a few things. This is a grandpa truck extraordinaire. It's open still good up. Ooh, a little neck here. Hmm? It's pretty clean for a two-wheel drive truck. I don't know, I'm kinda of digging the tires if you got if you got wire wheels and stuff. Wouldn't look bad. Put a front axle four wheel drive it. I think that would look this truck is very clean. Very clean truck. Definitely keep eye on that. What we got here, bud? What in the world is going on here? Oh, that's the old original. This is what your truck had on it when it came out. Those hubcaps. You like that? You're not sure about I'm, that, are you? Yeah, no, I'm not sure about that. What we got here? She's not happy. I smell gas leaking. Woo, she smells like gas. <coughs> A little bit. Oh no, I that truck would look sharp lifted up. You got the Alcoa wheels on already? <laughs> that looks so good. I mean with the front axle four drive. Got the Lund visor on it? Honestly, it kind of looks good in a way with the camper shell. Yeah. It's like, I don't Put know. Put a Dana Is 60 on the front of it. Ooh. Oh my god. It's only two wheel drive, see? Yeah, oh my god. But it does have the Alcoa wheels. Hmm. Got you thinking, don't it? Hey, I can't. All right, this is what they call the dead row at the Don Smock auction. There's all kinds of good quality trucks here. I read online, I think this one had, I don't know, missions, issues, something else. I think transmission might be able to come out too. I'm not real familiar with the Komatsu stuff. Looks like this one used to be turbo maybe, or they, I don't know. Not, oh bud. Look at all the trucks. OBS, one, OBS two, is for days. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight OBS. So I think these are all non runners. Look at all, they're all AT&T trucks. Bud, you know these things got some miles and hours on them. Mercy, mercy. All pretty rusty, too, ain't they? It's so cool to see. Yeah, this is a Are they all 351s too? Yeah, they're all 351s. Look at that, trucks for days. What was that? The door opening. This thing's been sitting a long time. Oh yeah, it's a... She's a little... Um, She's a little crusty. Mm-hmm. These things been experienced. Oops. I don't know if there's much good parts on these. Done, been used up. Yeah, if you're lucky, they're all rusted out. 
I mean, there's a few parts. You got mirrors and stuff, but yeah. service bodies are fiberglass. They, bumper on one of them. They, they all got fiberglass bodies, but they're rusty. Check out the old Ford. This one's not happy. She's got the big 351HO, come on. All the power right there. Oh yeah, your um your radiator cap is. Do you think the hood flew open going down the road, bud? It looks like it to me. <laughs> the old Dodge Ram. I bought those containers from here last year. We put the roof on. Mm -hmm. And more dump trucks. Never ending. Never ending dump trucks. So, we're going to look at a couple more little things. Where are we going? Racing. Dirt bike race. Tucker and Hunter have a dirt bike race. Practice is tomorrow, which is the day of the auction. Then racing on Saturday. So I'm gonna drive back to this auction tomorrow, unfortunately, while you're practicing. But uh, maybe we'll get something. If you guys wanna see. I don't know, no, you need to get the OBS. The OBS. So I'm gonna leave you guys hanging here. I'm gonna end this video. If you wanna see what I bought, you're gonna have to wait till next time. So if you wanna see that and you've not done so, you might consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell. So when that next video comes out, you won't miss it, right? Yeah. Then gotta get all the get, gotta get all the onions. All the details. So if you uh, like this little video, do us a big favor and give us a thumbs up. It helps us out a tremendous amount. So, but I'll leave the auctions information description below. It's every about three months or so. But uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. I know you want to come back and check your car out again, didn't you? You like this little crawler, don't you? Yeah, I don't have a use for it, but it's cool. What are you gonna do with it? Nothing. Oh, okay. Look at it. But it's sitting there all pretty. Red till I'm dead, bud. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Lots of good things here at the Don Smock Auction. But you gotta keep your eyes peeled too, so uh, we're out of here, aren't we? I think so. All right. <laughs>